Hello and welcome to the Fossil Academy. I'm Dan Brownlee. Uh, in this channel, we'll be doing lots of this. We'll be doing some collecting here. It's world famous. So, plenty of collecting. Maybe a bit of fishing. What? Maybe no fishing. Fossils. Plenty of fossils. Can we not? Can we not just do a bit? I'll do a bit of fishing. Okay. <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> so if you wanna so if you wanna learn how to, to find and prepare uh, some nice Astiosaurus blocks, stunning Nautilus blocks, really nice Nautilus. This one's from Charmouth. Well, got another Nautilus, but this one's from from Stone Barris out of a, a green nodule. Really nice. Showing you how to to find things like this. This is just picked straight up off the beach, but I can show you where I found this one. Detail is gorgeous. That's what it looks like on the other side. So I see some of the stems and things like that. And on that side. Again, this is a, a from, the, from the green ammonite beds. Uh, you can sort of see the, the, the ammonite uh, the Androg worn on that side and then you you flip it over and I've got a little tiny little Trago there he's on a, he's on a bit of a pedestal I'm not sure whether I mean I don't really like that very much but uh, it was a shame to get rid of him for the for the piece because it's, it's such a nice little dished out piece you can sort of see just where you could on the edge when you look in, this is you see the shell, the ammonite, and on the other side you can see it poking out the back. This is sort of the th this is the sort of thing that you that you're looking out for. Got um, starfish from Eep. This, there you go. This is starfish. Uh, so brittle stars. This one's got a few legs missing that were sort of like on top of the block, so they might have been worn out by the waves or the weather. I'll show you where to look for these. Uh, now this is one of my favourite ammonites. I found this one when I was going uh, for a wander with the family. Um, this is a this is a microdrosserus. This one's from uh, the slips uh, along Churchcliff. Uh, these are a bit tricky to clean. Because I've got these, uh, see the little spines, um, but yeah, I mean it is, it's doable. But like say you build up to those, these tricky kind of ammonites. We'll start off with some easy things. Uh, so some blocks from maybe Monmouth. They're uh, a bit easier to work on. And sometimes you get, you get ammonite blocks uh, or or nodules. Uh, where you can sort of see a blown ammonite uh, on the outside. Uh, I've got a few examples. A blown ammonite, I mean um, basically it's half in, half out of the nodule. Sometimes uh, if it's like that, the shell might be there on the other side, which is a lot of work to go to get through to it. Uh, some people just hit the blocks down and just sort of throw the bits. Um, whereas, I mean, for an example, uh, this one, I was walking down the beach and I saw um, all the bits, so I collected all the bits. Someone had smashed it down already. This one wasn't visible in the block, that was just a chunk of rock. Uh, but this one, I could sort of, with the break, I could see the shell. And you can sort of see how, how many bits it was in. This is all car body filler and super glue. So it was in one, two, three, uh, loads of bits. Um, and I collected them all and I thought, right, it might be there on the other side. So. It's a gamble. I mean, I could have penned down and spent eight hours penning it down, or six hours, 
and not found anything. It could have been not there at all. Uh, but you know, this one paid off. You know, it, it, it turned out to be a really nice block, and I found this extra one, which kind of makes it as well. Um, so yeah, it just goes to show you that uh, you know, some one man's rubbish is another man's treasure. If that is a saying, I have no idea. So I'll be teaching you how to um, repair stuff as well, uh, and that you know, it's a big part of of cleaning fossils is. Um, yeah, it's, you know, when you, the nature of collecting fossils, you're hitting stuff with hammers, uh, sometimes sledgehammers or you know, big lump hammers or whatever, to break these blocks down. And you are gonna inevitably <clears throat> break some of uh, some of the, you know, some of the the material, some of the some of the stuff you're collecting. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to put that back together in the workshop before you start to prep, which is a good skill to have. Yeah, another example is like that one as well. I mean, I've supported it on the back. I could see just these few ribs, and then it was just a mush, an area of mush. And I thought, you know what? If I if I if I support that on the back, and then you sort of see one there, like that's blown. These little ones, that one's blown. So if I went down there, I might be able to get that one on the other side. But you know, that was a big gamble. Because I had to pen, you, know, you sort of see the depth, penning down to that to actually see if the shell was there on the other side. That was a big gamble because that could have been pants. But as I was prepping it with the shape, I found this this little one, uh, and it kind of yeah, I love that one. It's like it's beautiful. So <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this again. So, so, so if you like what you see, hit subscribe and I'll be posting up plenty more videos in these coming months. Uh, that's all from me today. This is Dan Brownlee. This is, I am Dan Brownlee and this is the Fossil Academy. So yeah, I'm going to learn about some fossils. Be good. Yeah. Right, see you later. All right.